guys check it out it's been a long time since I posted a little cooking video sorry I didn't uh, start from the very beginning and show you the whole process but I figured I'd just show you a little something what's for dinner tonight look at that guy Ty's gonna make his own rendition of a blooming onion I'm not gonna do the whole spiel how they do it but I'm gonna get this little sucker battered up get that batter in them cracks you know make me some blooming onion type deal I also have me some fish frying up you see this is about ready to take out of that there oil it's looking good you know today man I was looking in the refrigerator and I came across some of that Alaskan pollock so I decided to throw it out and run with it man it makes a pretty good fish I got some sitting in my homemade batter over here maybe someday I'll go into detail what I did there but I'm uh go ahead and get this out of there and get it, the rest of it fried up and uh you know what, I might make me some of them there tater tots. Some people call them potato tots. You know what, man, I might I might just go ahead and batter them suckers up. I wish I had some cauliflower. I love some deep fried cauliflower. I like the mushrooms too, but I like the deep fried cauliflower. Maybe I'll make me some batter covered deep fried tater tots. Or maybe I should just put them in the oven. A little healthier that way. Oh. Anyway, you guys will see what I do. I'll show you the end result. All right, guys, it's high time I flip these suckers. I mean, uh, get them out of there, not flip them. You guys hear that sizzling? Heck yeah. My hands are all slippery and I dropped the sucker. Hope my phone is all right. I'm put a little seasoning on this sucker. Not too much, just a little bit. Well, guys, I hope I didn't crowd the pan too much, but that was the last of the little fish fillets, so I figured I'd get them all in there and get them done up. That way I can start thinking about that, that other stuff. Get this stuff in my belly. That guy Ty, he's kind of hungry, you understand? Alright, guys, you probably noticed there's a couple of pieces missing. Like I said, that guy Ty was hungry, man. I had to eat some. But as you see, there's still plenty. It's time to try this here blooming onion thing. I'm going to have to put the camera down to get it in there without making a horrible mess. So I'll be back. I'll show you. I'm, I think I'm going to get it in there and put it face down so that batter starts to cook and bubble up through there. Otherwise, if I sit it down that way, maybe it'll all just drool out and make a mess in the pan. I don't know. Oh, it'll probably do the same if I... You know what? You'll see what I do. I'll be back. Alright guys, as you can see, I just sat them suckers in there. It ain't making too much of a mess. And I also put them wedges in there, as you see. Might as well knock it out. Hope I didn't crowd the pan too much. I don't think I did. They'll cook up. And those are those sweet onions. They taste so good when you cook them up, boy. They really get a nice sweet oniony flavor to them. I like using those sweet onions in many different dishes. Let me get these babies done up, and I'm going to have to eat a couple of these while I wait. All right, guys, I'll be back. All right, guys, check it out. I broke this one in half. See if I can hold this phone and show you. Nice and white flakiness. You see it? Let me try to look at that. Nice white flaky flesh. Mm, mm, mm. Looking good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hey, look at that. Nice, huh? Nice and white, flaky. Done perfectly good. And I'll tell you what. That batter is nice and light, but yes, crispy. Mm, mm, mm. Word up, baby. See that? I got that other stuff in there cooking. I just wanted to show you this little sample right now. Alright guys, I loosened up the product, these here onion, I forgot what the heck you call them, anyway, yeah, blooming onions, now I just need to flip them, alright, looky there, just one more to flip, I used a combination of that there deal and them there tongs, worked out well, let's get this big boy, alright, I got the big boy flipped over, face down, but yeah, that's fried up nice and golden for that one I used a combination of that there metal spatula 
And that there daily right there. You're under here. Oh boy, I think I'm gonna have to have me another piece of that there fish while I wait. Real doggy. As you can see that bite mark in there, that guy Ty's putting it down. Looks pretty good though, don't it? Got my little napkin right yonder there. I'm loving this fish. It's been a while since I fried up a batch. Oh man, it makes me look forward to some of that perch. Oh yeah. That blooming onion to be done in the memento. Well guys, as you can see, the brother Ty kind of forgot about them little onion chunks. They're kind of done up good. They're still good though, not overdone. They would have been burnt up, boy, if I would have left them any longer. And this, I say these are probably about done. I just kind of flipped them as you can see. I'm going to take them up out of there. I just got that one leaning against the other one. I'll show them to you in a minute. Alright guys, I'm kind of tired of cooking, believe it or not. So I've opted not to make those tater tots. Right there is one of them blooming onions. Up on the side, you see it's kind of well done up there. But I bet that's going to be good. That's that other blooming onion, as you can see, with all that batter cooked on there. You see the little dillies, the little petals. There's the chunks, and then here's a bunch of that good old fish. Let me break this sucker open for you, boy. Mmm, look at that. Nice, flaky, white fish, boy. Mmm, mmm. That's that goodness. I'm going to have to let me sample, make sure this is good. I'm going to sample it for you. Mmm, mmm, mmm. All right, folks. Ty's little fish fry. Thanks for coming with me, man. I hope you guys enjoy. Have a good one. Make it good. Stay safe. Be cool. Nobody likes a joke. We're not done All right, yet, guys. Here's my plate. I decided to go ahead and eat that onion that was kind of well done. As you see, it's going to be good. Some little onion chunks. Some of that fish. And right there in that little container... That's some of that sweet yellow tang right there, boy. One of my signature barbecue sauces, man. Oh, man, that stuff is so good. I'll tell you what, some of that good yellow. Mm, mm, mm. I might have to come up with another name for it, but it's addicting, boy. You eat some of that? Next thing you know, boy, you, you, you just want a little bit more. And a little bit more. And a little bit more. You're trying to find more stuff to eat just so you could dip it in some more of that sweet yellow right there. But that tie, he's going to eat some of this fish. Tear this old almost overdone onion. Get rid of that. And I'm going to go get into that other one. Right champ. That's the other one that ain't all burned up. Alright guys. Have a good one. This time I mean it. Make it good. Stay safe. Be cool. Remember nobody loves a hater. And uh, I'll see you next time.